A Jefferson County jury found Todd Grzynski guilty on all 13 counts against him today. The six-time DUI offender was drunk last September when he hit 25-year-old Angela Wimmer's car, killing her. According to data provided by the state, Grzynski is the first person in our state to be convicted of first-degree murder under the extreme indifference theory for drinking and driving. Nine News reporter Sonia Gutierrez was in the courtroom as the verdict was read, and Sonia, aside from the apparently historic conviction, there was the testimony from the victim's family and then the statement by Grzynski after the verdict that were also very powerful. That's right, Tom and Kim. It really was. When the family was speaking, you can just feel how deep their pain was. Angela's sister was saying that she and Angela spoke on the phone almost every single day for advice, to plan the next trip, for a good laugh. Uh, all, all, the family members that are here in Colorado all spoke today. So Angela's mom said that her daughter had plans for the future. She wanted to have a family and be a stay-at-home mom. At first, Krasinski said that he didn't want to speak, but after the family spoke, he wanted to address the court too. He apologized for what he did, saying that he takes full responsibility for his actions and that for the rest of his life, he would advocate to make sure no one else drinks or drives. At one point, he even said that he was sorry he didn't let his past teach him a lesson. He said that if he could give up his own life to bring Angela back, he would. And fortunately for her family, it's far too late. Still every day you think about her, you want to call her and you know, do all the things you did together and he took that away and she'll never like be back. So it's somewhat closure, I guess, because he got what he deserved, but like she's still not here to like hear her laugh and, you know, see her smile. So During the trial, there at the end, they kept saying all he wanted to do was go home. That's all Angela wanted to do. She didn't make it either. We believe that, that justice was served today. So one of the most powerful moments during the parents' testimony was when the mom was speaking and she said, I really hope that this case touches at least one life, at least one person stops drinking and driving. And the judge interrupted her and said, actually, it already happened. There is one gentleman in, who has not missed one minute of this case, and he wants to stay sober for the rest of his life. So Tom and Kim, the sentencing is set for August 14th. First degree murder with extreme indifference carries a mandatory sentence of life in prison without the possibility of parole. There's a lot there. I mean, there's obviously the, uh, the that type of conviction. Mm -hmm. There is, of course, Angela Wimmer's family having to go on yes. without her. But I think for a lot of people, it's been jarring since this case came to light that, that a six-time DUI offender was still on the road. And I think that's something that, that really shakes people. Absolutely. So many people. And mm -hmm. thank you, Sonia, for covering it. As we also mentioned, she was on her way home from church in the morning. Yeah, it was right around noontime on a Sunday. Yeah. And, and they brought up how many drinks he had already had, how many bars he had been to already on a Sunday morning. And, um, you know. That's a problem. Our system, you know, as we've talked about many, many, terrible many times. Terrible story. All right. And speaking of this case, the first degree murder with extreme indifference charge is a rare one in DUI cases. We brought that up before. Nine wants to know, analyzed state data and found that Grzynski is only the ninth person involved in a deadly DUI to receive this count. None of the others were convicted. We asked Nine News legal analyst Scott Robinson what this message and this verdict, what's the message from this verdict? Society has now re recognized the toll that drunk drivers take, and this kind of verdict reflects that awareness by the public. Robinson says the next logical step in continuing to cut down on drunk driving crashes is to bring the people serving the alcohol into the criminal cases as well.